hello everyone and welcome back to my channel if you are new here go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the made it crew so i recently did a poll on tiktok to pick the next youtube video and product mock-ups one so let's get into it right now you see me creating the labels for the actual mock-up we're just gonna speed right through that and go ahead and get to work in photoshop stay tuned All right, so after you have created your label design in either Canva or Photoshop, you're gonna go ahead and open your mock-up. And this is how mine looks. It's just a foam bottle. Um, the label's not there right now because I'm gonna walk you through the actual mock-up. Also, some mock-ups do come with these rulers. They just help you keep everything lined up on your design. I hate them, I'm gonna cut them off. And the way you turn those off is go into view and extras. You just uncheck extras and now you can see the mock-up clearly. Okay, so over here you have your layers. And these are just the layers for the actual mock-up. See, this one is named transparent cap. And if you turn it off, it just takes the cap off of the bottle. And you can also change the colors. Um, this is just the highlights, but if you go in and play with those settings, you can change the colors of the cap. This right here is the foamer. See, when you turn it off, the whole thing disappears. Same with this one. You can change um, the colors. This one has like a matte setting, a glossy setting. So if I turn off the matte setting, you have a glossy foamer. If I turn off the glossy setting, you have a matte foamer. I love me some gloss, so I'm going to use the glossy setting and then just go into it and you can change the highlights. Um, you can change the color of the foamer, which is what I'm about to do now because I love me a black bottle. See, you just change it. And that's the foamer, the ring. I'm going to cut, cut it out so you can see. It's just a part right up under the foamer. And you basically have those same settings. Matte, glossy. Um, we're going to turn matte off. Leave it glossy. And then just go in and change the colors. Keep in mind that all mock-ups do not allow you to go in and change those settings. But you can easily... Just look through the folders if you can't find another mock-up. It's a process, but yeah. Okay, this one is the label folder. This is where you can change the highlights again, where the label would be. And then this is where you place your label. This one says project. Um, some of them say place your design here. It's just different things to let you know where you're supposed to put your design. This is the bottle customization. You can change the color of the bottle. You can change the color of the product. Like if you want, if your product's gonna be black, this makes it more realistic. Like if you have a pink product, you can make the product in the bottle pink, which I love this setting so much because it makes your, um, your mock-ups look real. Like this is exactly what you're gonna get when we ship out your product. But for now, I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, what do we have next? Another uh, bottle setting. Or is that the same one? Yeah, is there's another bottle setting. This just like takes the whole bottle away. But you can play around with those settings as well to change colors. This is just the shadow under the bottle. You see how it went away? And there it is back. And then, of course, you can take you can remove the background from the design but we will get into that afterwards so we're going to go ahead and place the design for the labels that i created what i'm going to do is just double click on nope double click on the window next to project and then upload my design here um let's go with the black one since i already changed the top 
Okay, let me go ahead and place it since it don't want me to do that. Okay, so now we have the label in the project area of the mock-up. I'm going to go ahead and resize it to fit on the bottle how I want it, which is about right here. I may have to go back in and readjust it, but about there I'm going to center it to the canvas and it looks like it's already centered and as you can see there is space up here and below the label and I'm gonna show you why I'm gonna go ahead and save it so that we can look at it on the mock-up and then just go back to the mock-up and now our label is on the mock-up see how easy it is um, okay, so as far as my spacing, I did not leave enough space. So I'm going to go back into the design and just move this down just a tad. Save it again and go back. It's still up too high. My label is too big. But uh, if I left a little bit more space, you'll be able to see the phone. That way your customers can see. Even though it is a foam bottle, they can see that your product does foam. I don't want my text to be smooshed up, but... I do want it a certain way. Okay, so it's just going to do what it wants to do. All right, so now you can see <laughs> more of the phone. And that is pretty much how you create a product mock-up. Um, when I save my mock-ups in Photoshop, I go ahead and remove the background. That way I can use them on flyers, um, I can use them on websites or things like that. So I like to just go ahead and save it, export it as a PNG, save it to my computer. I put them in Canva and use them for uh, designs pretty much like the thumbnail of this video. <laughs> I will use it that way. So I'm going to go ahead and save it because I do need it for the thumbnail. And that's how you create mockups in Photoshop. There are some mockup options in Canva, but they don't have too many. And I like to use a bunch of different ones for my clients. So I like to use Photoshop for mockups. And even though sometimes I do take my mockups from Photoshop into Canva, you can create those same flyers or whatever you want to use it for in Photoshop. I just think it's a faster way to, um, it's a quicker process to just take the mock-up from Photoshop and use it in Canva. That's an easier way if you're not really Photoshop savvy. So what I'm going to do is create a smaller bottle with our other um, label. And then we're going to go and look at free mock-ups. Okay, so my mistake, this bottle is actually bigger than the other one. This is the smaller bottle. This is the bigger one. And with this one, we do have a few more options. Um, here's your transparent cap. The pump customization. See, in this one, you can change which way the pump faces. So right now, it's at a 45 degree angle. If I turn it off, it takes it completely away. Zero degrees is where it's like facing forward. And then 90 degrees is completely to one side. So our other one is facing the other way. I don't see. I don't see an option for. The, hello. I don't see an option for that. But I wonder if I can just flip the whole. Just flip the whole thing. I 
can, but that messes up the thing. Okay. Whatever. So maybe make this one forward facing just for the simple fact of it'll be next to the other one. But yeah, you can turn the pump which way you want it and then go in and change the colors to whatever color you want it to be. This one I'm just going to make white because our other label is white. Then I'm going to go into the ring customization and change that color to white. Um, and then this is the one where the label will go. And it's the same thing. It says project. You just double click on that box and then place your label in the space that you want. See, this one has a grid already um, that shows you exactly where the label will fit on the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and put the white label on here. And over here, you see it's behind everything. I can either turn all of those off or just move that layer above. That way I can see. That way I can see uh, the grid. And then I just go in and resize the label how I want it. Center it to the canvas. And then save. And I know I've mentioned this a few times in other videos and things. I am not a professional when it comes to Photoshop. I come in this app and click around and figure things out. So this is my way of creating mock-ups. There are plenty of other ways out there to do these. This is just the way I learned and the way that works for me. Um, let me turn this grid off. Move this down a little bit. Kind of want it to match this one. Turn that one off and then save it. That way there's nothing behind our label. All right, and then this is our other one. And I'm going to change the color of the um, product because I don't think we want a green lash bath. I don't think we want that. Okay, so this one is a little clear, but what I can do is go to our first one and just copy that color, the hex code for that color, and paste it to the other one. So I'm gonna copy, go back to our new one, go back into the color settings and paste it here. That way, the products will match. All right. And then after that, I'm going to turn the background off on this one. And sometimes, okay, this is a great example. See how that one turned black? So it makes you feel like, dang, I can't, I can't make it transparent. You can save it like this and make it transparent in Canva. Or just click and cut off like the highlights and stuff. Sometimes you'll just have to click on the background. Let me go back. See how I just... So when you click on the background, it automatically automatically takes you here. So all you have to do is just cut off whichever one it turned, whichever one it highlighted. And then since I turned the white background back on, I'm going to click it again and see it takes me down to background color. And you just turn that off. That's the easy way to find out what's on that needs to be cut off to make it transparent or to delete something or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and save this one because I need it for my, um, for my thumbnail. Oh, don't replace it. I thought I named the other one something else. All right, and then now we are going to look for mockups. Okay, so now we are in our browser. And what we're going to do is just type in freepick.com. I will have it linked down below so you can just click from there. And I love this website for looking for free mockups. Sometimes I do pay for mockups, but if I can find a free one that I like, I'm getting it. Okay, why not? 
So with free pick, you just have a lot of different options. I'm going to go ahead and um, just choose a Photoshop file. And then let's just do an iPhone. Since it, uh, not iPhone, an iPhone mock-up because that's what everybody asks me about. Where do I get my iPhone mock-ups from? And to be honest, I just Google iPhone mock-ups and download whatever's free. So here we have a lot of different mock-ups. The ones with the crown on it, you do have to pay for. I also have a paid account with them, but anytime I can find a free one, it's good. So see, like they have the Instagram mock-ups. And then you have your filters over here. So if you're working with vector files, you just need a picture of an iPhone. You want an actual mock-up um, icons. You want free, you want premium, you want a specific color. They have um, different ways to help you narrow it down. Here's another Instagram one that I like. I might go ahead and grab that one. But you can just scroll through. Like this is what I do. Like. I just scroll and look at different ones and download whichever ones I want. Then go and find another website and download those. See this one, I'm about to grab this one now. And you just download it, save it to your computer. And then once you click on it in your files, it'll open up in Photoshop. So yeah, I want that one. Let's see, they have all types of iPhone mockups. There's another Instagram one. The one with all the phones. And a lot of these, sometimes they won't let you change everything in the mock-up. But you'll either have to read through the description or just download it and play with it in Photoshop to see. But like this one would be good for like the revamps, the acuity revamps. You can put the before and afters or something like that. Or just show off all of the ones that you've done. But there are so many mock-ups. You do not have to pay for mock-ups, especially if you're just starting out. Go find you some free ones and just learn how to use them in Photoshop. And then you can go from there. Like my, the ones that I use for like the lash bottles, well, the phone bottles, um, the flip top bottles. I pay for those because I know I'm going to use them so much and I want a nice quality of mock-ups. The iPhone mockups, I don't really use them for my clients um, as far as like product pictures and things. So I just use the free ones. Nobody's going to know. They're going to know. <laughs> but yeah, like this is a really good website for free mockups. You just have to look. You have to, you have to do work. Like you have to search for them and things like that. But yeah, I'm putting y'all on. Everybody always asks me where I get mock-ups from. Here's one of the websites that I use. Um, and y'all let me know what you find on here. Or just create a mock-up and tag me in it because I want to see it. But creating mock-ups are not difficult at all. You just need the correct software to do it. And I know this video is going to be kind of long, so I'm going to cut it short. <laughs> um, but thank you all for watching, and I will see y'all in the next one.